Hey YouTube, it's been a while but I want to give a final update on my old tank syndrome situation and tell you how I resolved it. I feel like I've got it licked. Um, I just did a, a thorough tank change with a filter uh, uh, clean so forgive the murkiness of the water as it's just settling out now. Um, I was doing a, a water changes regularly to get my nitrates down and uh, definitely got it below the 1020 mark and um, so once I did that I felt it was time to really go ahead and, and, and get my filter all cleaned up and some new media in there and so I wanted to kind of tell you how I what I what I'm doing so I'm gonna go over here a little bit and just tell you so I've got the uh, Fluval 200 series uh, canister filter and uh, I kind of got these in order so these they have three trays one at the bottom for mechanical filtration um, the middle tray you would kind of tend to use for biological filtration and then your chemical treatment at the top tray uh, so I, I want to set through what I do uh, so I, I, Forgive me that I don't have the trays in front of you um, to show, but uh, this will kind of just show you the products. So in the bottom tray, I've got a, a foam filter um, that is not, you can't see here, it's, it's fit, fitted for the tray. But I also add this phosphate pad here. You just cut it to uh, trim, and I've got a video on that uh, already up there. So that's all I did in the bottom tray, and that's just to capture uh, filter, your mechanical uh, um, solids, and to... Um, help reduce your uh, phosphates in the water. That's going to control your algae growth a little bit. Second tray uh, is more of like your biological filtering. I think this is one of your more important filters, honestly. And uh, so I've got this uh, pre-filter in there from Fluval. And all it's doing is uh, providing a mechanical filtration as well, but it also fosters uh, um, bacterial colonies that are helpful. I then put in this uh, nit denitrifying uh, pad. So this is another product you can get at the fish store. You just cut it out to fit the top of the tray. And so this will help reduce your nitrates since that was one of my big problems. Then on top of that, I put the whole can of this in there. And this is called denitrate. And it's just like a gravel. And what it's supposed to do is, uh, this, this uh, dose treats about 25 gallons, which is uh, a little less than what my tank holds, but that's okay. I figured close enough, especially with this pad and uh, it should last forever as so long as your nitrates don't get out of control so since I had the nitrate uh, concentration down uh, I uh, then hit it with this and so it should be able to maintain it at about five uh, parts per million or so the bottle says and uh, the local fish guy said this is the this is the stuff to use so we're gonna try it out see if I can't get this uh, truly licked um, I'm looking forward to seeing the results and the top tray is more my uh, uh, chemical filtration, but I also have uh, this Biomax in here. This also takes out some nitrites and nitrates, also produces or allows a, a, you know, a good colony of bacteria that uh, helps with that. Um, that's what that's intended purpose is. And then the Zeocarb, this is your uh, carbon mix. Uh, I'm sure it's got some other stuff in it. Uh, the black stuff is carbon. I can't remember what the other stuff is in there, but it's a uh, in these little pouches, and that's kind of your chemical uh, um, your chemical filtration right there in that little bag. So that's really what I did. So uh, kind of in order uh, from bottom to top, and for my uh, filter. So hopefully now that I've kind of reset the clock on the uh, canister filter in here. This thing should start uh, acting normal again. I should be able to put new fish in it without uh, worry about them uh, dying prematurely. Um, I've got a couple Bozmani in there. One is brand new, the small guy there. And uh, then I've got this uh, sword tail I just got. So, pretty little guy. So anyways, uh, looking forward to how this uh, goes. My next... Uh, project here is to actually uh, rescape this so I've been collecting some driftwood from the Oregon coast and I look forward to stepping you guys through that looking forward to how that uh, how that begins to look talk to you later